Hi, good day everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. It's me, MLG. And again, nagbabalik po tayo sa ating pag-vlog. And I'm very sorry guys na my last vlog, I think, was December 24, not mistaken. Busy tayo for the uh, Christmas time and New Year. And finally, ayan, back to my love, which is in YouTube. Okay. Now, um, pag-usapan natin ngayon ang isa sa um, lesson or video lesson natin na medyo nakat natin kaunti. So, ngayon, ipagpatuloy natin ang discussion which is still part of our quarter one in our science 8 lesson which is um, actually week 7 po ito ang series and parallels. Okay. By the way, before we start, um, allow me to take this opportunity to say thank you and shout out na tayo sa lahat ng mga sumusupport sa ating channel especially um, with my co-teachers science teachers din um, with Sir Chaddy and of course um, Ma'am Jel Salamat and sa lahat ng aming mga students okay, grade 8 students ng San Antonio, thank you very much kasi nga, this vlog is really intended for all of you guys we're doing this para at least mabalikan natin and it's part of your asynchronous learning, so I hope that you take time in watching it, if you have um, time, if you have enough resources then go for it okay kasi maganda to para at least anytime pwede niyang balik-balikan if ever may mga confusion and uh mayro kayong balikan na certain topic then you can have this one at instant so ayun na nga so last time uh medyo na po lang ating discussion so we are done with all of those topics from module one up to six and this time nagbabalik po ating video lessons with sir gamay all right so sa vlog na ito we'll be talking about Series and parallel. So, ayan, I hope na um, you'll be paying attention. Uh, you have your ball pen or anything with you and then please jot down. Okay? So, ano ba ang dapat natin pag-aralan in this module? So, here are the topics that included in this particular vlog. In this particular module, module 7, these are the topics to be discussed. First, we have schematic circuit diagram. Second, series and parallel connections. Third, safety devices and that's it again so as always we will be also um, considering the learning competencies because this will be our guide on what to learn or, or what is this module all about these are the learning competencies number one explain the advantages and disadvantages of series and parallel connections in household appliances or gadgets second explain the functions of circuit breakers uses earthing, double insulation, and other safety devices. Alright, these are the learning objectives. Letter A, the learner should be able to illustrate the series and the parallel connections through schematic circuit diagrams. B, differentiate series and parallel connection in terms of voltage, current, and resistance. C, explain the advantages and disadvantages of series and parallel connections in household appliances or gadgets and last illustrate and label five appliances that utilize safety devices all right those are the learning competencies as well as the learning objectives so let's start now to help us understand the concepts i have here definition of terms okay number one electric circuit or circuit it's a closed conducting path where electric current passes through hmm. okay second source it is where the energy comes from, an example, battery or a dry cell. Third is load, it consumes electricity, for example, a bulb. Four, we have, fourth, we have electric current or currents. These are moving electric charges from one point to another. And last, we have voltage, it is the potential difference between one point to another point. Since we're talking about electric circuits, so these are some of the um, symbol and how what is it all about and what it looks like and what it does first we have cell and new ng picture ng cell and then the symbol we have here and what it does so oh, it provides electric current and next battery battery is two or more cells joined in end to end okay so and then the symbol and the battery provides electric current and we have bulb, a component or a load. 
So, ayan, kita natin dyan. It produces light. Yun ang may symbol din siya. And we have switch. Okay? We open and close. Okay, we, that's why we use the word switch on and switch off. Alright, and wire. Again, so wire electric current flows through the wire to these devices and the components. Okay. So, those were some of the um, symbol that we need to use in our circuit diagram. Ano bang circuit diagram? What is this electric circuit diagram? Okay. So, these are the component in an electric circuit. So, dapat mayroong battery, may load, and of course, wire. So, we have here the symbol for battery, and we also have symbol for load, and of course, connecting wire. Alright, so let's proceed now. Okay. So, in that picture, uh, I'll be showing to you the differences between... Um, series and parallel circuit. So, kita kita naman natin, no? If it is a series circuit, it's only one loop. Yan. So, isang wire lang siya connected. Only, in a series circuit, everything is connected together in one loop. Going from end to the cell or battery to the other end. Well, the other picture is a parallel circuit. So, each component is connected separately in, the, in its own loop going from one end of the cell or battery to the other end. So, nakita natin dyan. So, two separate loops. Okay, with the branches joined up here. So, may connecting where saan siya nag-connect and circuit splits up here into branches. So, if you're going to observe these two kinds of circuit, napakadaling tandaan, okay? Series circuit, one loop, and the other one, we have two loops, separate loops. Ayan. We can distinguish these two type of connections based on this three um, component. Mayroon voltage, we have voltage, current, and resistance. Okay, one common example na madistinguish natin ang series and parallel circuit. The series circuit, common example is the series light. Ayan, pag once we switch natin yan, switch on, so lahat ng ilaw ay andar. Okay, once we switch off natin, lahat mamamatay. Okay, while parallel circuit, obviously sa bahay natin or house, Okay, kita naman natin that once we switch off the light, uh, somewhat like in the kitchen, ang sa ating bed or something like in the dining area or other areas in our house, hindi siya naapektuhan or still mayroong light. Okay, naka -light, lights on pa rin siya. It is because it has a separate connecting loop, okay? Or separate loop. Unlike um, series circuit, one loop lang siya. So, connected with each other. So accordingly, in series circuit, all bulbs go out if one goes out. Well, in parallel circuit, all bulbs stay lit if one goes out. Again, to sum it up, the difference between um, series and parallel circuits. Okay, for series circuit, single loop connection, bulbs dimmer, bulbs share power, all bulbs go out if one goes out. While in the parallel circuit, connected by branches, bulbs brighter, each bulb fully powered, and all bulbs stay lit if one goes out. But it has common um, idea which is, but again, these two kinds of circuit has similarities or um, has a common idea. Both of the circuit of course need energy source and of course wire. Alright, so let's proceed now to safety device and its function. Actually, there are five. So number one here is circuit breaker i know that you are familiar with this you have seen that one or seen this one in your house the circuit breaker it is an automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electric circuit from damage caused by overload or short circuit its basic function is to detect a fault condition and by interrupting continuity to immediately Discontinue electrical flow. So, yeah. Alright, so if you're not familiar with circuit breakers, so I included picture. Okay, for presentation. Second, fuses. What is the function of a fuse? Okay, we have the picture. We have here a picture of fuse or fuses. Okay, the function is to prevent short circuit that can cause fire and damage to electrical appliances. And... A short circuit occurs when there is a low resistance and a large amount of current flowing in the circuit. Next, we have earthing. What is earthing? 
It is the process of connecting metallic bodies of all the electrical apparatus and equipment to huge mass of earth by a wire having negligible resistance. Okay, ito yung picture ng earthing. Yan, as shown in above figure, fault current due to insulation failure passes to earth from the metal enclosure thus preventing shock to human being and this is the main function of earthing. Next, we have double insulation. What does double insulated mean? It's another way of improving the safety of electrical appliances is to make them double insulated. So double insulated appliances have plastic cases, thus the case cannot become live. So even if a wire inside the case breaks the appliances, it's still safe. Alright, so here's the picture of double insulated material. Okay, so those are the safety devices that you need to remember. And I have here a picture, appliances that utilize safety device. So we have a refrigerator, washing machine, and of course we have um, an oven, gas range. So, again. So before we end this vlog, okay, challenge yourself. I would like to know if you have learned something from this vlog. So what are you going to do is that comment down below five appliances that utilize safety devices. So that's it. So if you know the answer, comment down below and I'll check that when. And for sure, I'll be giving an incentive. Okay. So right again, that's all for today. And congratulations, we have ended or we surpassed. Okay, so that ends my vlog for today. And again, thank you very much and keep watching. Bye everyone.